with the summing up from our candidates. We're going to take it into reverse order from the, the starting round. So we're going to start with Viv, then Emine, then Durell, and then Nick. You have know, three <coughs> minutes. Why people should vote for your party. Well, thank you very much for giving me uh, the opportunity to come to this Hustings. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this, even though I've been on the council for four years. Um, and I was absolutely terrified before I came here. Um, why you didn't give them hard enough time. <laughs> why, why do I think that you should vote Liberal Democrat in the local elections to, to choose 57 councillors for Harringay Council? Harringay, Harringay Council has been run by the Labour Party since 1971. Mm, well. um, for a lot of that time, um, we also had a Labour government. Um, and so there's no excuse for some of the things that have gone on over the years um, in the council. Um, they are um, not careful with money. One of the first things I learned when I came back, and I, am a, I was born and bred in Muswell Hill, but moved away when I got married. When I came back, um, I heard that the overspend for rebuilding one of the schools went from eight million to 14 million pounds. They spent um, hundreds of thousands of pounds on schemes uh, like <coughs> rebranding uh, the council, um, changing the logo. They said it cost £87,000, probably five times that, that amount by the time it's costed. Um, they opened a chip chicken shop in Tottenham um, and supported it with um, £300,000 of uh, money and it closed after two years. They've opened a, um, a lettings agency that I, so I'm told in the year it was open, and it cost £500,000, in the year it was open, um, it uh, only had two people on its books. I could go on and on and on with the short, shortcomings of the Labour Council. We are not, the Liberal Democrats are not going to take control of the Council on May the 3rd. Um, but, but I think, I agree with the leader of Islington Council who said that a strong opposition is good for democracy. The Liberal Democrats have been the opposition on the council um, for about 20 odd years um, and I like to think in that time, I've only been there four years, but I like to think in that time we have been a strong opposition. There have been no other parties um, anywhere near getting elected to <coughs> Harringay Council um, in all that time. So that's the reason why I say you should vote Liberal Democrat. We're not going to take control of the council, but the council does need the people in the borough do need there to be a strong opposition on the council, and that's the Liberal Democrats. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, what, what can I say? Um, Haringey Labour has regenerated. Okay, let's, let, let, let's, let's be open here. Haringey Labour um, has listened. And I think many of you, unless you've been um, unless you've been in hiding for the last few months, know that we're actually offering something very, very viable um, in, 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 in the next administration. And I think actually um, what we need to recognise is that um, what's happened in terms of the mass um, membership of the Labour Party, particularly in this borough, is reflective of actually of the local population and 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 and, I, and I've heard from people on the doorstep that obviously what we need to be doing is is answering some of those key questions about um, you know some of those decisions that we need to make and um, I think I think that, that, that there is a reality if you want to be part of 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 a changing Harringay, then you need to vote Labour on on May the third because we're the only we're, 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 if 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 you're coming at this from a trade unionist perspective, then that that there is a reality here. You know you've you've, you've got Tusk standing in Seven Sisters. Quite frankly, it's a stunt, um, and you've got the um, the Liberal Democrats um, who um, have 
been in coalition with the Conservatives and actually and, and to, to say that you don't re represent your national party I'm I'm here to speak on behalf of of, of the local Labour Party but also and um, um, to say that you know we are part of a changing national situation and if you are um, if you are serious about offering a viable alternative for local people then under Jeremy Corbyn, under John McDonnell and the changing Haringey Labour Party, you need to be voting Labour on, 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 on May the 3rd. And all of our candidates are strongly committed to the new approach and we've all signed up to our manifesto and I think I'm glad to hear that the, 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 the Greens are supporting our, our promise for free school meals we're, 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 I think it's also important to, to just to make one final point about the Haringey development vehicle is that we will make sure that our procurement processes are looked at to ensure that organisations who blacklist workers are held to account and who have any association with that that type of practice um, that will not be acceptable in Haringey. Thank you. Thank you. And now Joel Francis from the Green Party. Uh, yeah, so we I'm running in St Anne's Ward and as I when I started I was truthful when we can actually win a seat. It's not normal it's not normal when we run that we can actually win. Um, in St Anne's we can do that. Um, and it would be a mammoth feat for the Green Party and for Haringey. I mean, we've heard from the Labour candidate before that, you know, I, I shouldn't be running, I should join Jeremy Corbyn's Labour. That is indicative of Haringey Labour. Against democracy, um, a, a complacency, um, and that is what led to the HDV. Um, um, as mentioned, we've had a Labour council since the 70s. We've had Labour governments under that. We need progressive, fresh politics, and that's what we offer as a Green Party. We're here for everyone. Uh, we're not here for tribal point scoring. Um, we're here to um, clean up our streets, um, to um, reinstate vital services to our youth, uh, vital services um, to social care, which should have never been cut. And you can be assured that if I get onto the council, I will be holding Labour to account. Um, and that's what we need, and that is what a democracy is. We do want more people um, on the council who are not just red. 49 Labour councillors, um, and every time they run, it's always going to be a different Labour. It's always going to be new people. It's never going to be the same old Labour, but we get the same results. And so here is your opportunity to give the Green Party a chance in many wards, but especially in St Anne's, if possible. And if you look around London, if you look at uh, Caroline Russell in Highbury and Islington, you look at Sean Berry in Camden, with just one Green Councillor, so many positive things have happened. Um, so don't feel like if we have just one Green, I'll be lost and I'll be rattling about in the Civic Centre. It'll be fine, I'm sure, I, I assure you. Um, one minute. Um, um, but to, to, to restate um, the, our main points of, of what we want, um, Haringey is a place um, of progressive politics. And when I knock on the door, actually, people are very clued up um, uh, about it. And so I'm very positive with this campaign um, that we can get a councillor. And we will ensure um, your, your services back. We will be fighting for cleaner streets, um, to keep our parks, um, in check, we will be holding Viol to account and we will be making sure that any contracts um, for having gay workers have the London living wage. We will be fighting um, for that with you as well. So please give us um, a vote on May the 3rd. Thank you. Uh, sorry, Trade Union and Socialist Coalition. Uh, yeah, task uh, last but uh, hopefully not least. Uh, well, we've heard a lot about a number of subjects this evening. We've been asked to consider important questions. Uh, we've been told that we need to have a national conversation. Um, and quite rightly, the Tories have been condemned. And uh, I agree with the members of the panel that have said it's a shame 
that they're not here this evening. I think we know why they're not here, because they'd get a trouncing. Um, because of the misery that they've, uh, they've created, not just in Haringey, but in other places. But uh, uh, I must respond to something, because in particular the accusation was made that perhaps uh, I was attempting to give someone a lecture. Uh, it's not a question of giving anybody a lecture. I think this meeting this evening was hopefully an opportunity to tease out differences. Uh, it's not a question of giving a lecture. It's a question of giving people an answer. Giving an answer to the low paid workers who have come here this evening who want to know when they're going to get a pay rise to £10.20 and they've been told they'll have to wait at least four years. <laughs> it's giving an answer to the vulnerable. The people that have come here today that have criticised the council for the closures of the centres for people with autism um, and disabilities. It's a question of giving an answer to the 9,000, over 9,000 people, as I said already, who are registered as homeless in this borough. Those are the answers that we need to give. So, yes, Labour may have listened, but I think the essential question is, can it deliver? Uh, and I genuinely hope it can. We say in our leaflet, we recognise that there's been a change in Labour. Uh, and if there is that, that, uh, that small earthquake in Seven Sisters and potentially Tusk does get someone elected, I will genuinely be looking forward to working with my comrades in the Labour Party. I've, I'm very grateful for the support for the Tusk candidature, for some of the Labour Party members who've already expressed their support for us. And I would like to repay that support and say, together, I'm sure that we can spearhead a campaign to deliver a no-cuts council in Haringey. And that that campaign could not only excite the people of this borough, but it could be a huge inspiration to people in other boroughs who are looking for a lead and a fight against austerity. No austerity in Haringey, and no austerity in the UK or, in, or internationally. We've got an opportunity to fight that in the local elections. The best way to fight that is come and support the socialists in Haringey, in Seven Sisters Ward. If you can't vote for us, you can certainly campaign for us. Comrades, I look forward to seeing you. Okay, well, oh. that's it. Um, thank you very much for all your questions. I'm sorry I couldn't take everybody, but I think we got quite a good flavour. Uh, I want to give a particular thanks to the Unison care workers who came in force. And just to make it clear, Trades Union Council will support your continued fight for the London living wage as the very minimum. Um, a big thank you to all our speakers for coming along tonight. I think they put up a really good performance. It's really tough, but I think they did really well. Um, the final thing is to say that make sure you are registered to vote on the 3rd of May. Okay. And if you want to speak to members of the... the Parties represented here. I know there's a couple of stalls at the back. If you've got any questions about how to register, I don't know if it's too late to register. Mid midnight. Midnight tonight. Midnight tonight, yeah. midnight tonight is the dead. Uh, okay, it can be done online. So if anybody wants to register, they're not already registered. There's a woman at the back waving a mobile phone who's happy to help you. Oh, it's a card. Okay.